and today we are playing Disturb. This is an absolutely 100% free game on Steam and it looked familiar to me. I thought I had played it for the channel. Apparently I didn't. Uh, yeah, so I think I found this somewhere uh, on a uh, free Flash game, but they have it on, on Steam. So I said, screw it. I like point and click games. Let's do it. Another dull day passes as you struggle to manage your failing farm. Your crops are beginning to wilt and your cow is sick. For some time, the land has been very quiet. The air has grown thick and foul. Each passing day, you feel more uncertain if things will ever return to how they were before. Perhaps it is up to you. You've made up your mind. You are going to do something about it. Ooh. You stand in front of your humble home, pondering what you're about to do next. Uh... Okay, so this is a point-and-click puzzle and multiple endings kind of a game. So, entering the house, you feel a subtle uneasiness as if the growing blight outside has penetrated the wall of your safe haven. From what you see, however, something is the same as you left it. Perhaps this is just a good time for you to just lay in bed and wish that your problems will just go away. You fight the notion, but the temptation is still there. Read your journal, open the chest, lay in bed, go back outside. Uh, let's, let's read the journal. Dear journal. Okay, you guys can read this. Dear journal. So I broke into my chest, stole my stuff. Uh, should make a trip in the city, see what this is about. Open the chest. You open the chest to find something more than a pile of papers that seems to be less valuable than... Anticipated. Close the chest. Oh, lay in bed. You lay in your bed and fall asleep to the light sound of wind blowing outside against the grass. You can hear whispers and chants, but you can't make anything of it. An image appears before you, a stone growing as if it were live. The chants get louder as your vision grows in more detail. You reach towards the stone in your hand as your finger makes contact. A clash of thunder rattles around you. Your clothing and skin start to flake away like dust in the wind. The particles flow into the stone, sapping the life from your body. You feel pain that you have never experienced before and fear begins to flood over you. You suddenly see yourself lying in bed, never to wake up again. Your adventure ends here. Okay, so again, multiple endings. You kind of just... Kind of like gotta... Go to the shed. Da key. Go to the crops. Prosper, these past months, a predatory odor reminds you that the plants are decaying away and time is running short. Uh, go back to the pen. Oh, my cow! Fumes burn your nose as you enter the pen. Your poor cow lays lifeless on the ground as a gr growing blight slowly begins to consume her body. You feel sick to the stomach as you stand there, especially as you stare at the black mushrooms that dot the ground. I inspect the water. Looking at anything abnormal, you notice the water is a dark, consisting of dropping a stone in it. Black particles from the bottom swirl around like a thunderstorm. Your face shrivels in disgust. Grab a mushroom. Grab a mushroom. As you begin to rip out the ground, a cloud of spores spray from the mushroom. Your hands begin to burn and melt as you observe them. Slowly, your body shrivels up into the dark, moist consisting as the poison spreads. You die, eventually, after crawling about on the ground. Your adventure ends here. We're going to go follow the path. You continue down the path for a while until you see a cave off in the distance. You pause, questioning if there could be something helpful in there. Uh, we'll go into the cave. There's a faint whistle from the wind passing between the rocks. The temperature significantly cools as you enter the cave. You notice that there is a different smell, but you welcome it, comparing it to the deathly blight around outside. Let's go further in. Shit! A 
large bear emerges from the darkness, you realize that you have made a terrible mistake. Even thinking that something helpful can be in here. Fight the bear! You scan the crowd and notice the numerous rocks you can grab throw at the bear. On the other hand, you throw the rock as hard as you can. Rip. And you die. Adventure ends here. Uh, continue down the path. You come to a stop as you stumble upon a broken wagon. Inspect the wagon. You look about the mess and find bits of food and clothing scatters about the scene. You notice a key on the ground during your search. You pick up the key and continue on your way. After that, you felt like an hour or two, you reach a bridge. Near the path is a small shack, similar to the house you have on the farm. The man that lives here is a kind fellow, from what you recall. Maybe he is home. We'll inspect the shack. Walk towards the structure and knock on the door. You scratch the back of your head, figuring that the person that lives here is currently occupied, if not elsewhere. You remember picking up a key on the wagon. You use it on the door. The door unlocks. You decide to help yourself in. Observing the empty room, you realize something terrible must have taken place here. The room is a wreck, just like the wagon. I'm going to fear as you think of the man that used to dwell here. Uh, inspect the book. Take the book and flip through the pages. You discover that there is a journal. Reading a passage or two can't hurt. Today, trading went smoothly, thank goodness. What am I thrilled most about, however, is that one of my buddies mentioned to me that the conclusion of our day, apparently there is a pond nearby that has some of the biggest fish in the region with a good catch. I can make enough to move things forward. I was caught off guard when he mentioned that nobody has been able to catch any from there. I guess our typical fishing rod won't do the trick. But what can be done about that then? Something to be intrigued about, I suppose. Open the trap door. And notice the lock, keeping it locked. With the key, you unlock the hatch and open it again. Without thinking, you traverse down. Walking down the steps leading below, the air attacks your body with a piercing cold. You notice immediately that there's a woman chained to the wall. She doesn't seem to notice you. As you study her, you feel darkness around you as you stay in with this awful place. Talk to her. You tremble as you try to form words in your mouth. You there, let me out of here. The pressure of such a demand makes you freeze. You take a moment to think about this situation before you respond. What got you locked up to begin with? You'll never believe me, even if I told you the truth. Something brought you here. Please have mercy on me. You approach the woman and lock the shackles that bind her. As her arm becomes free, she moans in pain. Thank you so much. Struggles to regain her strength and starts to stand up on her own. As she gets up, she turns towards you. Ooh. I will now do you a favor. Oh god! Helpless woman disappears. Her image manifests itself before you, feeling cold grip bone hands locked into your arms. Energy flees from your body and you fall onto your knees. You feel the essence of your life slip away as everything goes black. It is unfortunate that your journey ends here. Cross the bridge. You cross the bridge safely and continue down the trail. After all that has happened, you feel that you should take a moment to rest. You find a spot under a tree and sit down, getting comfortable. You tilt your head back against the tree and gaze into the sky. Let's pick at the grass. As you pick at the grass blades in your reach, the ground begins to shake before you can get up. Roots from below sprout from the ground and wrap around your legs. You turn around to see a large, angry face looking back at you. Your jaw drops in horror. No sound or scream escapes your tongue as the tightening grip of the roots squeeze what air is left from out of your body. Adventure ends here. I got killed by a tree. Take a nap. Your eyes close, your body relaxes, you fall asleep within seconds. As your mind wanders, you see a blurry image. Details emerge as you gaze, you wonder who this might be. A bad feeling then overcomes you and you realize who this is. You try to wake yourself up. You wake up and jump to see your feet, looking about yourself and your surroundings. All seems well. You can't help but feel 
fearful that something bad will happen to you if you stay here. Moving forward seems like the only logical option now. You reach a point where two trails... Let's go left. After continuing down the path for some time, you come to a stop. You notice that there is some sort of trail that leads through the grass up towards a nearby hill. If you had sto not stopped, you probably would never have noticed. Which way do you go? Down the path, follow trail in the grass. Uh, let's continue down the path. You walk for some time to find an endless field of grass where there's a stone well near the path. Uh, it's back the well. Oh, shiny. Turn down the well. Other than the evident water at the below, there's a coin resting in the wall of the well. You feel you should go down and take the coin? You lean over the edge of the well. There is no possible way you can obtain the coin by reaching for it. With this in mind, you turn and climb down along the inner wall. Take a few seconds to step down, but your luck runs out. You misplace your foot and fall. Tumbling about, your body clashes against the stone wall. With a single knock to the head, you lose all consciousness of your accident. With a splash, you fall into the water. Your body sinks effortlessly. You drown without realizing it. Your adventure ends here. Welp. Let's try follow the trail in the grass. Ooh. You stumble upon what looks like a grave. Inspect the grave. You approach the grave. You look at the sword with intrigue. Oh. Before you can touch the sword, a ghostly figure appears before you. You freeze before the apparition. The sword. May I have it? The blade is cursed. I am bound here by the pain of my past. If you desire this sword, free me from it. You slowly motion for the sword. Fool! Only something of pure essence can free me. I rather hope like a flower found in the darkness. And leave the sword. The figure fades out of you. You know what? Let's actually try inspect the grave. I uh, can't. Shit. Pause to see what they're they do by a trail continues to the right. Oh, uh, the lake. Step near the lake and look down into it. Resting underwater is an orb of some sort sitting on the bottom of the lake. There's something strange about it, as if it were calling out for you. Dive in! Then jump into the lake. You open your eyes and see the stone sting there. You start to make your way forward. Oh god, Larvin quickly notice you out oh, that reached. Leave this for a surf, but the fish catches up to you. you. Quickly find yourself helpless before the creature. Giant fish rips your body apart with its teeth. You die a very painful death. Your adventure ends here. Oh, I went right. Shit. You reach the end of the pathway. In the distance is a tower overlooking the area. A gate secures passage to the area with a wall around the property. Also of interest, there is a tree that has a hole carved into it. Inspect the tree. You approach the tree and notice the hole big enough to fit your hand in. You look and see something shiny in the hole as if metal. Feeling around with your hand, you find three knobs. One on the right, one centered in the middle, and one on the left. Press the knobs. Press the left knob. Press the right knob. Right the middle knob. The knobs lock in place. You wait up for a minute, but nothing happens. Ah, leave the tree. It's a combination. Go to the gate. You approach the gate cautiously. Enter. Standing there in the tower, your heart begins to sink. There is no doubt that the birthplace of the spreading plague. There is a fountain before you that st statues on your right and left. Uh, spect the statue on the right. For you stands an angel statue that has broken in many areas. With one hand, the angel is holding some sort of bowl, while the other hand is hovering over the bowl. You notice that there is only two remaining fingers on the a uh, angel's other hand. You, sh you feel like you should j just observe the statue. On the left. See an old statue of an angel that has been consumed by vines and thorns. The angel is holding a book in one hand, with the other one finger pointing up towards the sky. Feel a bit to leave the statue alone. Inspect the fountain. 
dark haze about the fountain, the water is black, and the smell burns with every breath. You feel a slight pull towards the fountain as you recline calling for something. Enter the tower. Approach the door. The barrier stops you. Some sort of magic. Okay, I'm thinking the tree half split. It has to do something with it. But I'm not 100% sure right now. I'm going to go trail the grass. And I'm actually going to like screw around with this ghost here. Grab the sword. You reach for the sword, but we can leave figuring out the spear grabs your arm. Pause your body, your flesh melts off your bones. What fragments remain fall to the ground. Your adventure ends here. Yeah, I died to the ghost. Kind of figured that. Continue along the trail. Ooh, a faint trail comes to an end. There is a collection of stone pillars down the hill. Beyond the hill is a large field of grass. Spec the pillars. Stonehenge. You stand before large stones, arranged in the shape of a circle. In the center is a stone which appears to be some sort of slot or hole. No doubt about it, something is meant to be placed here. Seeing that, you can't do anything. You head back. Okay, so there is actually some, like, achievements and things I can do. Explore the field. And find yourself gazing over a grass field with hills rolling off into the distance. Hello. As if a trick upon your eyes, you see a unicorn across the field. It appears out of sight before you can do anything. Surely the unique powers of a unicorn can help you with your quest, but there is clearly something wrong. If only there was a way to charm it. Okay. Okay. Go back to the grave. Go back. We're gonna go down the path. Past the con past the well, walking over the hills of grass and grain, you reach the walls of Aramoa. Several times a year, you come here to trade goods from the farm. Discover the plague that has spread to your farm has also spread all the way out here. The path before you is overrun with blight. Continue across. No desire to turn back now. You march forward into the. Tr Tainted soil. Before you realize what happened, you sink completely under the ill soil. Darkness consumes you and your lungs struggle for air. Your body burns in pain as you suffocate and die. Your adventure ends here. Well, shite. Press the knobs. Right. Right. Left. The knobs lock in place. Ah, yeah, there we go. Your rumbling of rocks as the ground starts to shift beneath you. Everything goes dark and you sink below the surface. The hole above you seals, trapping you underground. Ah, you find yourself with no evident way out but the path before you into the darkness. Your only choice is to move forward. Oh god, you see three separate paths within the walls of the cavern. Which path do you choose? I am actually going to save. Uh, left. Through the darkness. Come to us the path. Which way do you go? We're saving again. We'll go left. Right. Right. Mushroom! Inspect the mushroom. There's something more than what meets the eye. Walking forward, you take a step at the water. To your dismay, the foot hits no bottom and you fall in. You wish to grab a hold of the edge of the surface, but your body freezes stiff. Okay, load. We're actually gonna load this one. Go right. to make it forward. Eventually, you make it into some sort of concrete room. Turning around, you see a hole in the wall where you came from. You guess that wasn't part of the initial design. You turn around to see the door. There being a little to nothing in the room, you decide to move on through the doorway. Ooh. You find
find yourself in what looks like a basement. You turn around to discover that in each direction there is a door. Boxes of supplies and debris litter the floor and corners of the room. Several markings on the doors and floor, some of which scare you. You got a bad feeling about this place. Uh, I am going to save. Inspect the supplies. Browsing the desk for supplies. Something strong with the touch of your minimal wear. You decide to take the rope. Um, the left door. Uh, go back. <laughs> well, actually, we could go on. Uh, continue on. Oh, I'm back here. Shit. Okay, we're not doing that again. Uh, enter the door behind me. Ooh. You walk up the steps. Into a large room, the air is polluted with dust and spiderweb covered the walls and ceiling. Where should you go now? You want to save? <laughs> go outside. The fuck? I'm not done with you. Uh, let's actually go to the middle door. Ooh, hello. You enter a room full of metal cages before you hit is a hallway marked with questionable markings. You don't like the feeling about this place. Whatever was in these cages certainly did not like to be locked up. You notice that there is an animal in the cage on the left of the room, but from the dark stains on his fur, it is dead. Cautiously walk down the hallway, entering the room with two cell doors. Ah! A large hound leaps in front of you. The beast doesn't look very vicious, but one wrong move can surely be the end of you. Realizing that you're not prepared for a moment like this, you slowly back away towards the other room. To your dismay, the dog follows your every movement. Before you can do anything, the dog leaps before at you. You don't have long, and it's five. Yeah. Okay, load. I'm gonna go back here. That was the middle door. Let's go to the right door. Ooh! Small room. There's a large cauldron in the center of the room with wood resting beneath. There's something on the shelves. Someone cleaned this place out. But find nothing in it. With nothing else in the room, you exit. Okay. Let's go enter the door behind me. Up the steps. So that was outside. Let's go... Far door? Yeah. To move and you enter into what appears to be a spider's den. The air is thick and the room is a mess of web and body parts. You notice that there is a couple items in the room that could be useful. If nothing else, there is a key on the ground that you will no doubt need. Oh god! Before you can even act, a large spider falls from above. You have no doubt that it is hungry. Without hesitation, the spider attacks you. With nothing to defend yourself, the spider quickly bites you. You begin to lose feeling all over your body and everything goes black. Dang it. Downstairs. Welp, that was dumb. Upstairs. You discover that what looks like a private library. There is a passageway before you with bookcases on the left and right. Uh, browse the books. You take a moment to look at the books. Some of them catch your eye. A forgotten power. You pick through the pages. There's a particular that has ink arced all over it. Raw energy is a powerful substance not to be trifled with. It is merely myth that such energies exist. <laughs> Description by magic. Marking a section of the book, you turn to it. Part of the charming is not necessarily limited to the instrument, but how the magician, musician goes. <laughs> Rituals of the agent. Pillars of stone. A unique religious practice that resolved Stonehenge. It was said that these stones were lined up in a special way and often organized in a circular pattern. Organizing the stones this way unlocks the ancient power researchers still have trouble understanding. In order to 
keystone to rest on. This is a great age practice from. Hmm. Okay. Move forward. Ooh. Stone carving of a person praying that is attached to the wall. Odd about it. You can't put your finger on it. With caution, you continue up the stairs. Ooh. Large globes centered about the room. There are windows that let the light shine through. You notice that there is a chest resting against the wall to the right. You also notice that there are another passageway like the previous room. Inspect the globe. You study the globe attached to the floor surface. The craft is made of metal, and there is a fine detail in the grooves. There are various markings and names scattered across the globe. It may take you a moment, but you find a marking of where you are, Aramoa. You notice that there are some hand-drawn markings within the area, made with black ink. There might be something close by that is interesting in the author of these markings. To add to the mystery, there are some similar markings on other areas around the globe. Open the chest. No key to unlock the chest, you decide to leave it alone. Continue forward. You climb the stairs to find a wall ending your path. Above the end of the stairway is a hatch. Open the hatch. You open the hatch, you pull yourself up. You have made it to the top of the tower. Before you is a stone of power resting upon an altar of rock. Dark vines have entangled the structure as if they were feeding off the energies of the stone. Your body begins to tremble as you stand before the stone. You definitely feel weaker being up here as if the stone is sa sapping away your energy. Destroy it. This may be your only chance. You approach the stone and grasp in onto it. You lose sight and feel sight and feel immediately as your hands become glued to the stone. Your life is drained for your body. Only bones remain to testify your death. Your adventure ends here. Okay. Let's actually do these again. Uh, let's go right. Let's go left. Left. Okay, let's go right. Let's go right. Ah, and there's mushroom. Go back. Okay. Uh, left. All uh, right. Ooh, a ship. As you make your way forward, you discover a large chasm. An old-looking ship rests against the edge of the lake, with debris scattered about the surrounding area. Spec the ship. You cautiously walk down towards the ship. The air is chilling and you fear it won't be a good idea to stay too long. The possibility of discovering something that can help you drives you to explore. Climb aboard a ship. As you take a moment to observe your surroundings, you are only welcomed by a th trickle of water brushing against the wood of the ship. You move about to see where you can go. Every footstep you take feels heavy as you hear the sound of wood cracking under your feet. You feel the ship has been here for quite some time. Explore under the deck of the ship. Nothing but the sound of your footsteps bounce about the structure of the ship. From one room to another, you continue to discover a kitchen. Although there is nothing unique about it, you feel you should take a moment to inspect it. Inspect the oven. Lone pot. Lays down and open. You close the oven. Inspect the drawers. Find nothing empty. Dust spreads about the air as you disturb the air. Checking underneath, you discover a rusty knife resting on the floor. You find that there are plenty of hardened rat droppings dotting the edge of the wall. Take the knife in hopes you may defend yourself with it. Move on. So I now have a knife! Ah, I'm in the captain's chambers. You discover the room of the captain, unlike the other parts of the ship. Everything seems to have been left alone in this room. Before you rest an Before you rest an old wooden desk with papers and assumed belongings of the captain. There was a small bed off near the corner of the room and some chairs in the other. You have a feeling deep down that you shouldn't take anything other than the lamp and other objects. There was a small stack of papers in contrast to a lone paper resting by itself. Approaching the desk, you begin to expect the papers resting on it. 
The lone tap. Notice to the crew. Due to unexpected predicaments, everything. Okay. Stack of papers. Okay. You guys can read these. Go forward. Ah. Let's go right. Here's subtle algo shifting box before you. Appears before you as a gaze pierce the darkness. Before you can do anything, tentacle bursts from the ground and grip your body. Pulls about your wrist. Remember the knife you found and struggled to bring it out. With success, you hold the knife and begin to cut away the appendages that bind you. The room vibrates. Cut. The creature immediately leaves you alone. It takes you a moment to catch your breath. You come to divide! Which way do you go? Right. There's a pillar of light. The light rests on a corpse that seems to have been there for quite some time. Near the corpse stands a lone flower. For some reason, you feel hope entering the heart as you gaze upon the flower. There is something special about the scene, but perhaps it might be best to leave in reverence for now. I need that flower! Go left. I want the flower. I want it. Hey, fine, we'll go this way. Uh, left, I think, is the way I need to go. Left again. Nah, that wasn't right. Right. And I need to go behind me. Uh, far door. Maybe I can actually, like, kill the spider. You pull out the knife and stab the spider when you can. Unfortunately, the knife does doesn't scar the spider and it bites you with ease. Damn it. Alright, I think I'm going to leave Disturbed here. I know there are different endings. I have seen it on the Steam page. I am actually going to get them. I am going to get the sword. I am going to try to find that bloody unicorn. And I am going to figure out what has happened with this place and actually be able to finish the game and get the good endings I guess you call it because these are all bad endings I keep dying but I really really do love this game it's just a fun little game but it fucks your voice if you're narrating it so I'm just gonna leave this one here until whatever I make have a great day and a beautiful life bye Oh!